Hi, welcome to Electrical Info YouTube channel. Subscribe our channel and share. Today we learn about substation single line diagrams. This video describes the single line diagrams of two typical power substations 66 kV, 11 kV and 11 kV, 400 volts and their power flow, principles of incoming lines, incomers, and outgoing lines, feeders, bus bar arrangement functionality and so on. Next we learn about 66 kV, 11 kV outdoor substation single line diagram. Figure 1 shows the single line diagram of a typical 66 kV, 11 kV substation. Let's explain the main parts of it and how it actually works. There are two 66 kV incoming lines marked, incoming 1 foot and incoming 2 feet connected to the bus bars. Such an arrangement of two incoming lines is called a double circuit. Each incoming line is capable of supplying the rated substation load. Both these lines can be loaded simultaneously to share the substation load or any one line can be called upon to meet the entire load. The double circuit arrangement increases the reliability of the system. In case there is a breakdown of one incoming line, the continuity of supply can be maintained by the other line. The substation has duplicate bus bar system one main bus bar and the other spare bus bar the incoming lines can be connected to either bus bar with the help of a bus coupler which consists of a circuit breaker and isolators the advantage of double bus bar system is that if repair is to be carried on one bus bar the supply need not be interrupted as the entire load can be transferred to the other bus note there is an arrangement in the substation by which the same 66 kV double circuit supply is going out 66 kV double circuit supply is passing through the substation. The outgoing 66 kV double circuit line can be made to act as incoming line. There is also an arrangement to step down the incoming 66 kV supply to 11 kV by two units of three phase transformers, each transformer supplying to a separate bus bar. Generally, one transformer supplies the entire substation load while the other transformer acts as a street and by unit if need arises both the transformers can be called upon to share the substation load the 11 kV outgoing lines feed to the distribution substations located near consumers localities both incoming and outgoing lines are connected through circuit breakers having isolators on their either end note whenever repair is to be carried over the line towers the line is first switched off and then earthed next we learn about the potential or voltage transformers, PTs or VTs, and current transformers, CTs, and suitably located for supply to metering and indicating instruments and relay circuits, not shown in the figure. The PT is connected right on the point where the line is terminated. The CTs are connected at the terminals of each circuit breaker. Note, the lightning arresters are connected near the transformer terminals, on high voltage side, to protect them from lightning strokes. Next we learn about there are other auxiliary components in the substation such as capacitor bank for power factor improvement, earth connections, local supply connections, D, C, supply connections etc. However, these have been omitted in the single line diagram for the sake of simplicity. Next we learn about 11 kV, 400 volts indoor substation single line diagram. Figure 2 shows the single line diagram of a typical 11 kV, 400 volts indoor substation. Let's explain this scheme a little bit. The three-phase, three-wire 11 kV line is tapped and brought to the gang operating switch installed near the substation. The gang operated switch, go, switch, consists of isolators connected in each phase of the three-phase line. From the go, switch, the 11 kV line is brought to the indoor substation as underground cable. It is fed to the HV side of the transformer. 11 kV, 400 volts, via the 11 kV CB. The transformer steps down the voltage to 400 volts, 3 phase, 4 wire. Note, the secondary of transformer supplies to the bus bars via the main circuit breaker. From the bus bars, 400 volts, 3 phase, 4 wire supply is given to the various consumers via 400 volts CB. The voltage between any two phases is 400 volts and between any phase and neutral it is 230 volts. 
Next we learn about the single phase residential load is connected between any one phase and neutral whereas three phase, 400 volts motor load is connected across three phase lines directly. The CTs are located at suitable places in the substation circuit and supply for the metering and indicating instruments and relay circuits.